Uh, Nathan, we're down here in York. Well, I'm not actually sure where I am because I just followed my sat nav. York. And it brought me here. So, York, Weatherby, is that, is that, somewhere, is that where we're going to be fighting? Yeah, it? that's the next fight, yeah. Because I've come down here to chat to you because we're going to be filming the fight. It's on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you're out for your fourth fight and uh, you're getting you're getting my favourite journeyman. Uh, you're getting Jordan Granham, who uh, is, is uh, an unbelievable man. Uh, silly, silly, silly tough. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm not sure which one you're going to get tonight because he's, he's coming off a... He's coming off a, 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 a his genuine first KO stoppage. Uh, he'd been stopped, I think, in his 125 losses. I think he's only been stopped twice before, but they were both retirements, and this is the first time he's been stopped. So you might come, he might, he might be coming with a real avenger. Yeah, well, he's had like 140 fights and only been stopped three times, then yeah. I saw. You know, and like I said, that's a, the, the last time was his first time a genuine stoppage. The other two times he'd retired, um, I think, at the end of the second round. Yeah. So uh, he'd be out to prove a point. And uh, I don't know if people realise, but he was a very good amateur himself. Uh, I think he won his first 26 fights as an amateur. Um, he, uh, I think he was a, a, like the, the London area uh, regional champion on numerous occasions. He was a good kid. Well, yeah, it's a good journey, man. I think it's a good, it's a good fight for me on my fourth fight. Yes. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a great test for anyone. Um, but I have, I, I even though I don't know you and never spoke to you before uh, until today, I have filmed you twice. I filmed you on your debut, which was down at the Fuse uh, in Partington, uh, Earl and Manchester, and then you, in your third fight where you got your first stoppage yeah. against Sean Coxon. Sean Coxon. Yeah. Um, a very good performance, mate. Yeah, yeah, was that. Last time I watched Sean, you know, he, he came and had a go, didn't he? So he does. I, I think that's probably his downfall because he comes and has a real go, which gives you opportunity to expose. Yeah, it makes you perform better as well, though, doesn't it? When people are having a go back at you instead of people that are just, you know, getting in there to survive. If you know what I mean. You say that, but but if you're not up to it, you can be exposed. Yeah, and obviously well, you're up to it. So so what, what? How did you start boxing, and when did you start boxing? Well, cut a long story short, I got, I was I was quite bad in school and I got like kicked out of all my schools and that. Yeah. So I went to do a like a course at college, and I went there for a few days and like I was like I'm not doing this anymore. So they rang me up and said, Do you want to do a princess trust course at Henry Wharton's gym in Aikham? It was round the corner from me. I also thought, oh, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go there. I like boxing, and that's how I started. Right. So I was there for like a year. So you, because you, most kids when they start boxing and turn professional, have normally been boxing since they're 11 years old. So you must be what, 17, 18, Yeah, 19? well, I, I, I went to him when I was about 16 and yeah. I was going for like a year, but I won't come on a night and stuff. I wasn't really interested, but just something clicked and I thought, Joe, Emery used to try to get me down on a night all the time. And then I just ended up coming on a night and started boxing as an amateur. So I had my first fight when I was 18. I ended up having 45 fights as an amateur. And how did you do those 45 fights? I think I won about 31, I think. That's something cool. like that. Won, won a few box cups and got to national semi finals, won a few York, five Yorkshire titles, won Iron Gear Box Cup. Oh, not bad then. Won gold in Denmark and twice MTK Box Cup, so did all right. Oh, yeah. No, well, I, you see, I always say amateur boxing, a 50, 50 record is a good record. I mean, uh, the perfect example is Terry Flanagan, who used to be a, a former world lightweight champion. And uh, I think he had 60 fights, won 30, lost 30. Mm. You know, so, you know... Uh, yeah, it's just uh, learning amateurs, isn't it? You know, just it's all they are. It's, it's all they are. And also, it matters, it? you were it's probably a playing catch-up with a, a lot of those people. If you, like say, you were 18 when you had your yeah, first Yeah, well, fight. I had my first fight, I jumped straight into it. Seniors, seniors I didn't which is hard never, never boxed with an Edgar, I went straight into it men's. And, you know, just entered everything, really. Tough everything way to happened. learn. Yeah, it is, yeah, but, you know, I did all right. And before we go on about any more, I've I, I just got to find out who is the guy, the madman, who comes supporting oh, you. I love this shout-out, Lee Oslock. He is. Yeah, he oh, he's funny as hell, yeah, on my debut when he was dancing. At his debut, and when you got <laughs> the, he went ballistic when you got the stoppage. Yeah, yeah. He, he just doesn't stop dancing all night. Oh, does it all night. So funny man. Him. He'll be at this show as well on Sunday. Yeah, I'll be looking back. Yeah. I'm going to put the camera on him again. Uh, I think I filmed him he's not uh, the last time. He's, he's, yeah, he's definitely not hard because he's a big unit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So what, how do you know him? What is he? Some relation? Just, or? yeah, mates from a family, family yeah. friend. Yeah. And, and, and is there any boxing in the family? No, I'm the only one in my family, boxing. And it seems like, because 
I remember at the show, uh, I mean, the, when you talk about making noise, your fans make some noise. Uh, and they were making noise all the way up until you went on. But then when you left, half the crowd went. So that's not bad. That, yeah, yeah, did well, you bring down over 100? No, I'm not, that's what I mean. They're just my lot allowed. I think I did, on my debut, I did about. Um, about just short of 90 tickets, I think, something yeah. like that. Yeah, 85, something like that. But you know, it's a long way, Manchester it to York. It's a long way, I've just done way. it, mate, today. It's a so, long journey. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, I, I must admit, I would love to be. Did he come on a bus, that guy who was dancing all night? Yeah, well, when I boxed on them Manny shows, I um, I just ordered a 49 seat coach, and that just fills it in about three or four days. That's so. a bus I want to be on. Yeah. He, I bet that was a fun bus, I bet that was a fun especially because yeah, you won both yeah. times. Um, like I say, doing really well now. This is going to be your fourth fight. Fourth uh, one, yeah. all, all inside this year? Yeah, yeah my, first, my debut in April, and then second one May, then July, so October, and then I'm boxing in December as well. That's some good going. So actually, in, inside your first year, fingers crossed if everything goes well, you can get maybe six fights in, maybe yeah. even seven. Probably five. Definitely six or seven next no, year. No, yeah, by next year. Oh yeah, by next. Oh, you go to ne April next year. Yeah, yeah, like. Well, yeah, if I was looking at it as like the new year yeah. to the end of it, yeah. So if we start from January, I'll definitely have six fights next year. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. And what would you, what would you be, you know, where would you like to, if I was speaking to him, say, five, six years' time, what would you like to have achieved? I don't know. Take it, take it one step at a time. I'd, yeah, like, I'd like to, th I'd like to think. Um, where does everything British British level. Go? Yeah. British, yeah. 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 Because that's a, that's a hard thing to be. Yeah, I know you know? it is. But, but you know, but, you, I know you never know, sky's the limit, isn't it? You never know. Well, like you say, you've got to take one fight at a time, Yeah, that's you? it. And uh, as you develop through these fights, and I think this is a great test for you, because Jordan Granham is, is a great test. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if anyone's seen him, but we got him one of our shows, uh, uh, I think it was about April last year, uh, this year, sorry, and he fought a kid called Guy Kitchen. One of the best fights you'll ever see. Had everything in it, knockdowns. It was just break dancing in it. Um, it was it was just an absolutely amazing fight. And if you force that guy into having a war with you, he can have a yeah, war. Yeah, let's fire him back the name when you put it on him. I'm so. looking forward to this. Yeah, fight. yeah. Looking forward to something. <laughs> um, and, and, and is it nice to be? Because it was this was the first time in your hometown as well, wasn't it? Well, it's not. It's it's just it's. Closest it's one closer, to, yeah, 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 it's closest one to York, so yeah, it's only down the road, wherever we be. What's, what's the venue, the engine or something? The engine shed, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've never been up there, but obviously yeah, I've been going there venue, on Sunday. Like, I'm on, I've never been there, but I've seen the pictures, it looks lovely, so... What a great yeah. way to end the weekend, eh? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, will you do much celebrating afterwards if everything goes well? Yeah, of course, yeah. All my, all my lot come and pay to watch me, so at least I can do a celebrate with them all after. <laughs> and how, long, how many days will they allow you to celebrate? Oh, I'll be back in gym Tuesday. Yeah? Yeah, two, uh, day, two or three days off, max. Well, listen, good luck for uh, Sunday day. Yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, there's someone will be talking to you, because we normally have people here, I don't know what happens at your shows. Um, but uh, hopefully the next time I see you, um, you'll be falling up. Yeah, 100%. I'll see you Sunday. Nathan, you take care, mate. Cheers, mate. Nice see you. Up. For all boxing, Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.